I'm privileged to work with TiVo very closely. I learned early on that TiVo, more than almost anyone I work with, is going to make me feel uncomfortable. It's a revelation that, oh my gosh, I would never have anticipated this to look this way. David Cohen from Variety here. Emmanuel Lubezki, also known as Chivo, has won the last two Oscars for cinematography, and he's in the race again for The Revenant. So of course, we couldn't resist the chance to do an episode on him. Unfortunately, Chivo doesn't like to appear on camera, but that's no problem for us here at Artisans. We got some of Chivo's fellow cinematographers and his digital colorist, Stephen Scott, to give us their insights into an artist working at the top of his game. Chivo is my favorite one of my favorites. I love him, I love him as a person, I love his photography. And there's something about his photography in a very subtle way that's just so beautiful, magical. It's hard to describe because it's not really a visual thing, but it makes you feel a certain way. When you feel that, you go, ah, oh, that's Chivo. It's a feeling of authenticity, immersiveness, organicness, exploration. I'm always in shock when I look at his images. I almost feel like a physical gasp. And it's like, oh my God, how did you ever think to capture this? What was your conversation like regarding The Revenant before production? Frankly, it was a little terrifying because we all knew that it was going to be shot in the middle of nowhere in horrible weather conditions with very little lighting, no lighting, and that it was all going to be very unnatural. It was a really new way of working. It wasn't like he shot some stuff and didn't know what he was gonna do with it. He had actually planned it out quite brilliantly, I think. <laughs> It's not mechanical, it's emotional, his photography. It comes from his soul, and you just feel that. Look how many times you're looking at a sunset, or fly through the clouds, or a frozen plant, or a glimmer of sun through moss. I think it's that love of those very intimate details and moments that makes the movie come alive. It's saying, there is more than the simple narrative I'm presenting. That'll give him something to think about. <laughs> Burn after reading and then gravity and then Tree of Life and Birdman. Yeah! To me, they're all very different films. He's making every film an identity within itself and not trying to carry anything over. But you, when you've got subject matter like, say, gravity, where you're in space, it's a whole different technical bag of lighting that you need to show. The reality of it is hard light, the sun, hard contrast. But, you know, Birdman, you know, in New York, brilliant as well. And I think that that makes good cinematography, is to know when to move the camera, what lenses to use, how the lighting should be, and not sort of do the same thing all the time. Every one of these top executives, you know how they got where they are? Floated right down the middle of the river. Chivo lately, he's been working on films with this particular style. The last few films have been this kind of moving camera handheld, you know, the, the, the Terry Malick kind of look. It's a very naturalistic style of lighting, and he tends to light with soft, practical sources. But if you'd have taken his work 15 years ago, I'm not sure you would, yeah, maybe you'd see it was the same person. What I see in his work is how he is at a level where he's not afraid anymore. And it's, it's amazing to see. You know, all of these little pieces that are thrown in, vistas, landscape, clouds, what does that have to do with anything? It moved him at that moment to shoot it. And as an artist, he couldn't resist capturing it. He's so confident that there's nothing he cannot do. And I think there's a beauty in that. I think that's the thing that I find so revolutionary about him, is he doesn't wait around to be told, here's the place of the DP. He says, here's where we should be, and I'm going to be there, try to stop me. It should be liberating for everyone to know that there's somebody like Chivo out there saying, guys, follow me, I'm putting myself out there, and you all should as well. Please click like on this video, share it with your friends, and tell us what you think in the comments. 
We love making these Artisans videos and your shares, likes, and comments help us keep on making them. Want to learn more about cinematography? Click on the box on the left to see how Matthias Erdely created the unique look of Son of Saul. Click on the box on the right to see John Seal on why shooting Mad Max Fury Road was a little bit like making an animated film. To never miss an Artisans again, click on the subscribe box. That'll sign you up for the Variety Channel. There's a new Artisans video every week, so come back soon. Thanks for watching.